Hello, hello, hello everybody. Welcome to my video. My name is Tracy and you are watching me here at Tracy Monster on YouTube. You can also find me at Tracy Monster Savings on Etsy as well as on Instagram where you will find a ton of really super fun money savings challenges to help those of you who are looking to add to your sinking funds or for those of you who are looking to pay off debt or for those of you who are looking to save money for the next big purchase that you have coming up in your life. But before I get started in today's video, I always like to start my videos off by saying thank you to each one of you for taking the time to click on that play button and giving me the opportunity to share these types of videos with you. So thank you so much for being here today and thank you so much for being a part of my YouTube community. With that being said, let's go ahead and dive on in into today's video because you guys, I am so, so late, so late on getting this video up, guys. It has been a week. I have been very, very busy. And when I actually do get a time or a chance to sit down and do a video, um, there's disruptions inside of the house, uh, a lot of noise going on outside, uh, my daughter's home and she's sleeping and so I don't want to talk too loud to wake her up because she works graveyard shift and it's been a whole thing guys and so um, I am very very late so for those of you who are new to watching this video from this channel I usually put my videos up on Monday uh, but now that I'm doing the Bunko Against Time live with Mari I have been doing my videos on Tuesday, and so, yeah, it's, uh, and I'm not blaming um, the Monday video, the live videos at all. It's just my schedule has kind of changed a little bit, and so, um, anyways, uh, I was uploading on Mondays. Now I'm doing it on Tuesdays, and now we're way past Tuesday. We're now into Friday, guys. <laughs> So anyways, let's get into this video so that we can get this week done because not only am I late on this week, I now have to stuff two weeks worth of savings challenges. And so uh, over the weekend, normally I don't do v videos on weekends, but over the weekend, I am going to have to do a video because I need to get caught up on my uh, cash stuffing videos. I have the cash from last week in hand. I just haven't done the video yet because I haven't done week two yet. It's just, it's guys, it's just a thing. Anyway, um, so let's go ahead and let's get started on these savings challenges. This is going to be for Monday's date, which is June 12th, and which happens to be the second week of June, and it's also the 24th week of the year. So that's what we're working on right now, okay? So, and then when I come back um, over the weekend, I am going to do it over the weekend. There's no question about it. I have to do a video over the weekend. It's going to be for week one and this week for week two. So just letting you guys all know how all of this is going to work. So, okay, so let's go ahead and let's get started. Let me put my little cheat sheet right up here. And so the very first savings challenge I'm going to participate in is the 52-week reverse challenge where I'm trying to save $1,378 for the year. And so since we are on week 24, this savings challenge tracker lets me know that I need to save $29 for this week and when I have all of the money in my cash envelope binder I will have a total of $972 in that binder okay I feel like I'm a little rusty since I've gone a little bit without making a video it's almost been two weeks since my last video it's been more like a week and a half but who's counting right <laughs> anyway okay the next savings challenge I have here is Paradise Island Savings Scratch Off Board Game. And I'm going to roll two times. Um, I think, yeah, I'm just going to keep it with two times. Uh, and then if I go over this month, then I will just continue rolling um, until the next following month. So uh, let's go ahead and roll on this one. I've already gone through one time, but because I didn't get any scratchers the first time around, I'm playing this game again for a second time. 
just so then I will hopefully the second time around get to scratch off scratchers and I did uh, last week I got to scratch off a five dollar one so that was pretty exciting okay so let's go ahead and roll and we have a five great number okay so we have this is the last place we stopped off at so we have one two three four and five so we landed on the small coconuts and so since we landed on a small image with the coconuts i already pre-assigned that if i landed on a small image it would be 15 dollars. so that's how much we are going to pay this week so um, that's going to be week number 24 and that was going to be uh 15 dollars all right, and so uh, let's see, we have $6 that should be in my cash envelope plus 15, that brings me up to $21 for this round. Okay, so now let's go ahead and roll a second time here. And we have a three. So we have one, two, and three. So that is $1 that I need to save for that one. So $1, so we had $21, that brings us up to $22 at the end of this week, okay? So that is using the Paradise Island Savings Challenge. So for this week, adding the $15 plus the $1, that's $16 that I need to save for this week. Once I have the $16 in my cash envelope, um, including the $6 from last week, I will have a total of $22 um, completely saved for the second round. All right, next savings challenge that we have is the Bunko Against Time. I already played this on Monday with Mari and a few others in the chat. And so for this week, I played uh, round four, game six, and my total points came to 27 points, which then converted into dollars, came to $27. So that is the Bunko Against Time. The next savings challenge that I uh, uh, am participating in is the Etsy sales by state. And on this one, when I looked at the sales from June 5th through June 11th, there uh, were no new sales in the state of Alaska, Hawaii, or South Dakota for 2023. So if you are somebody that's looking to add to your sinking funds by playing uh, playing with savings challenges, then head, over, head on over to my Etsy shop at Tracy Monster Savings. And when you purchase a listing from over there, then I have to save $5 per state once your name is colored or once your name is filled in and then the, the state is colored in. So again, those are for the states of Alaska, Hawaii, and South Dakota. All right, so let's go ahead and put this one to the side. Somebody is texting me and I don't have any idea who that is. So I'll need to check that out uh, when I'm done. I forgot to put my phone, my phone on do not disturb. So hopefully this video doesn't stop. All right, next savings challenge that I have here is the $1,000 savings challenge where each cat paw is worth $20. And this one is called Cats Rule the World. And for this week, I am going to save $20 again, just like I did last week. So that's how much I'll be saving using this savings challenge. All right, now, uh, let's see, let's go ahead and put these ones to the side for just a moment. So then we can focus on these ones. This one here is called the Cute Little Sloth. And uh, this is a savings challenge where it's a bunch of laminated mini cash envelopes. And yes, these are inside of my Etsy shop. And so if you're looking for a cute little savings challenge, uh, a little set to save with, then these have all been custom designed by myself. So once you have all 24 mini cash envelopes uh, filled, you will have a total of $300 saved. Um, you can purchase these already laminated in my Etsy shop uh, if you um, don't want to take the time to laminate themselves, I got you covered but if you are somebody that wants to save a little money and you want to craft them yourself 
then I do have the digital download in my Etsy shop where you can um, purchase the digital download and then um, uh, laminate them yourself, okay? So um, this one here, I did $10 or the number 10 envelope. And so for this week, I am going to be doing the number 11. So it's gonna be $11 this week um, for the cute little sloth and then um, let me show you the envelope here. This is the envelope right here for week 11. And the front and the back are the same. So you never have to worry about which way the envelope is going, you know, if you have it the right way or not. Um, it's, it's, it's the same on both sides. All right. So we have 10 on the front or back right here. And then we have 11 because those are the two envelopes that I need to stuff when I have my cash envelope video go up or uh, my cash envelope stuffing video go up. All right, next savings challenge I have here is the $1,000 savings challenge. Uh, this one is from Tina, a pink cloth life, pink cloth on Etsy, and then pinkcloth.co on her website. And on this one, we are saving $1,000 in this binder. And so um, we need to save $40 because that's what each one of these square increments are. And so it'll be $40, $40 and then my $40 will go into one of these empty little sleeves at the end of this week. So that will be the $1,000 savings challenge. All right, let's go ahead and bring these back over here. All right, so let's go ahead and play knockout. So uh, we did round one and now we're gonna do round two since we're on week two. So let's go ahead and do that. The knockout number is five. So we're gonna take this die and let's go ahead and roll it. Uh, let me see, I need to get my marker so I can. Okay, so I just rolled a one. I don't know if the video, I heard the video cut off and I don't know uh, if you saw me write the number. I rolled a one and I, uh, wrote the number one down. Okay, so now let's go ahead and do roll two. And I got a three. I don't know why my recording stopped. So uh, maybe somebody tried to text me or something. If somebody tries to call me um, or something, it will stop my video, but a phone call didn't actually come through. So I don't know what's going on right now. I just know that there's somebody trying to contact me on my phone while I'm trying to do this video. So, um, all right, so let's do roll three. Roll three, we rolled a two. Let me make sure that my phone is recording. Give me just a moment. And it is. Okay, perfect. All right, let's go ahead and roll number four. Okay, so we got a five. So that means it's a knockout. So um, when you do a knockout, you are going to knock all of those out just like that. Okay, let's go ahead and roll again. Okay, I got another five. So we are knocking that one out. And then we've got a four. And then we got another four. And then we got a one. And then roll number nine. Ooh, a five. So we're knocking all of those out. Oh, okay. So this is gonna be a good hand. All right, so let's see, will we get a five? If we do a five, then I either don't have to save any money or save the knockout amount. So let's see, if I get a five, I think what I'll do is I will save $5. That way I am saving something. So let's go ahead and roll and we've got a three. So this week we need to save $3 with knockout. That was fun, yay. <laughs> and this savings challenge is by Mari from uh, Budgets and Chaos in case you wanted to play along. And this one here um, is an envelope. And so you can put, uh, you not only play the game but it also has a little cash envelope um, for this as well. All right. Now, let's see, what else do we have here? Uh, save the change, let's do save the change. This week is really super easy. I only have 50 cents in dimes. So let's see if we need to roll dimes this week. I have one more nickel, I couldn't find a nickel anywhere. So I uh, gotta go another week without rolling the nickels. All right, so there's there, and then it looks like I only need three dimes to fill that one up. 
so uh, to roll those. So that was 50 cents for save the change. Okay, perfect. We got that out of the way. All right, so now what we wanna do is we are gonna hold off on uh, round it up for just a moment, just so then we can see what our total has come to so far. And then we will round it up to the highest $10. So save the change, let's see, save the change was this one and that one was 50 cents. And then we have knockout was $3, where's my, uh, I put knock off, it's knock out. Jeez Louise, knock off, knock out, not knock off, uh, knock out, not knock off. All right, so uh, knock out was $3. And then the $1,000 savings challenge, uh, Cats Rule the World, was $20. And then Etsy Sales by State was nothing. Bunko Against Time, that one was $27. And then Paradise Island was $16. And then the 52 week reverse challenge was 29. And then the $1,000 savings binder was $40. And then last but not least, we had a cute little, cute little sloth and that one was t uh, $11. All right, let's go ahead and add up all of these amounts of all of the savings challenges. So we have $16, we have 50 cents, we have 40, we have 11, we have 20, we have three, 27, 29. Oh, that's really low. That is really low. Okay, so um, I show that I'm at 146.50. So what I wanna do, Give me just a moment here, guys. I think what I want to do is I want to add another 20 to the cat's rule. Hmm, let's see, 20 if I add 40. I think I'm going to add another, another $40 to this, guys. So I'll be actually putting in $60 for the cat's rule the world. Uh, rule the world. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right here where it says uh, $1,000 $1, cats. I am going to add in 40 more dollars, 40 more dollars. That'll bump me up just a little bit more. Okay, so, um, and if I do that, that will bring me up to 186.50. Okay, so let me write that, that amount down. So 186.50. So what I wanna do is I wanna bring that amount up to 190. $190, which would be the highest tenth, uh, tenth, $10, like it will bring me up to the highest $10. So $190 and 50 cents. So the difference is $4. So that's where it brings me up to the rounded up of $4. Okay, so hopefully that all makes sense. Because um, I'm rounding it up to the highest $10. So with that being said, let me just go ahead and calculate. That's $4. Let me add in my $4 here on my tracker. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in my amounts once again, just to make sure that I calculated everything correctly. So we have $16. We have 50 cents. $16. We have 50 cents. Then we have $40. We have $11. We have $20. $3, $27, $29, $4, and then $40. So that's $190.50. So that's perfect. Okay, so now that I have all of my savings challenges figured out and added up, I now have my grand total here for how much I need to save for this week of week two for June. Now that I have that amount, I'm going to carry that amount over to this savings tracker right here, and I will write that amount for week two here in this area here, 
Oh, look at that. 190.39, 190.50. We're very, very close in the amounts there. That's pretty awesome. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I will do this every single week for four, uh, four weeks, since we have four weeks in June. Once I'm done with the last week of June, I will come back to the savings tracker. I will add all four weeks up and that will give me my grand total of how much I save for the entire month of June. Once I have that total of how much I save for the entire month of June, I will then carry that amount over to this savings tracker and I will write that amount here where it says June. I'll do that every single week, every single month until I reach the end of the year. Once I get to the end of December, the end of the year, I will then again come back, add all of those amounts up, and that will give me my grand total of how much I saved for the entire year of 2023. So that's how the savings challenges work and the savings trackers. If you have any questions at all, then please ask down in the comments down below, or you can always send me a message over in my Etsy shop at Tracy Monster Savings. Uh, I would love to answer any questions that you may have. Also, if you see any of the savings challenges or track trackers um, that I've participated in this week, then uh, you can find them again at Tracy Monster Savings and find over 200 listings for you to choose from. If you like this video, please do not forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you like the content on this channel, then please don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell. That way whenever a new video goes up on this channel, then you'll be given a notification. Uh, and also while you're over in my Etsy shop, if you can give it a follow or a favorite or a favorite shop, whatever device you're on and it shows, um, then uh, follow me over to my Etsy shop also. That way whenever I upload a new challenge over there in my shop, then you'll be given a notification there as well. And then you'll, you can be one of the first people to purchase one of the listings that uh, are, are new to my shop. So anyways, everybody, that is it for the day. Again, I apologize that this video has gone up late, but it is up. And the next video that you will see will be of me doing a cash stuffing over the weekend because I cannot go into the next week, week three, without doing a cash stuffing. I just can't. So um, so uh, make sure that you have uh, click that notification bell so then when I do upload that video this weekend, then it'll give you something to do if you don't have any plans. You can watch my, my YouTube video. <laughs> Anyways, everybody, thank you so much for being here all the way to the end. And until next time, I will see you guys soon. Be safe out there because it is a crazy, crazy world out there, guys. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.